guys, it's Squibbles here. I'm back for another vlog today. You see, I watched something a little strange the other day. And for once, it's not porn. So I was flipping through all the TV channels and I finally got to the demand section, right? And then I stumbled upon the show called Coffee Frickin' Samurai. No racist thing intended, it was really called Coffee Samurai. And you may ask, what the hell is Coffee Samurai? Well, my little cucumbers, I will give you a summary. <laughs> and don't say I didn't warn you, this movie is really, really special. Anyway, back to the summary of this whole shenanigan. So it starts out with like this really like badass like samurai fighting scene. I'm all into those kung fu movies, right? And I was like, yes, this looks so cool. But I'm like, what does coffee have to do with this? Well, our main character wished to be invincible and strong like iron. So, in his next life, he was reincarnated into da -da 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 -da, a coffee machine. And no, you didn't hear me wrong. He was reincarnated into a coffee machine that fights crime. And so, this is where our other character comes in. This is a Korean movie too, so I don't know how to say their names and I don't remember them, so I'm sorry. <laughs> and they meet when she stumbles home drunk one day and he has finished fighting crime and he has to hide his identity as a samurai coffee machine so he morphs into a coffee machine again yeah it's like what, what the fuck but um and then she's drunk and she's like i'm gonna take this home yeah i'm just gonna take you home you look fucking sexual tonight so i want you in my apartment now kinky long story short she ends up falling in love with the coffee machine and you guys might be wondering don't i have anything better to do than to watch a Korean coffee fighting samurai machine thingy revolver with a Korean girl who has a fetish for coffee machines and just wants to make love to it. No, I don't have anything better. My friends and I actually watched this. They came over to originally work on a project we had for English class, but then we got sidetracked when we ordered pizza and we sat down and we looked through the demand channel and there it was. We watched it all the way through and we in we enjoyed it probably just because it reminded us of our friend will and will this is not a criticism because it is a coffee machine that summons a giant sword and fights pedo bear and a zebra it was amazing this is the most original idea ever and i loved it <laughs> every step of the way no matter how derpy or how bitchy the girl is it was so funny Probably just because the little messaging and that's what she said jokes throughout the whole thing because the coffee machine gets a boner. Yeah, it literally kind of gets a boner. <laughs> and yeah, I kind of already know I'm pretty dang weird, so don't judge me because who, who would rather watch Jersey Shore or a coffee vending machine that fights crime? Me. I would rather watch a Korean coffee machine that fights crime. Maybe because I have problems, but... Screw that because you don't get an STD from watching this Korean awesome movie. Rather than Jersey Shore, I think you watch it and then you automatically have herpes or something. I don't know. Just like it looks like they bang 5,000 people. But that's a, whole nother, that's a whole nother subject, you know. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you this special update on what has happened to me lately in my procrastination in school with um, English class. So anyway, sayonara. Bye-bye.